We begin tonight with new details on a deadly stabbing in Providence. We first broke last night at 10 and 11. 42 year old Gary McConville was arraigned on murder charges today. He's accused of stabbing and killing a man at the corner of North Main and Cypress Streets. And new tonight, we're learning more about the possible motive behind the killing. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live from Providence with the details. Eric. Mike and Shannon, police tell me it was likely a fight over where Antonio Bryant was panhandling that led to him being killed. Gary McConville, who is accused of stabbing and killing him, is now being held without bail. 42-year-old Gary McConville faced a judge Tuesday afternoon. He's charged with murder in the stabbing death of 51-year-old Antonio Bryant. Police say Bryant was stabbed near the intersection of North Main and Cypress Streets around 8 Monday night. According to investigators, before being stabbed and killed, he was panhandling. I think that's where he uh, he stood when he would uh, ask for money. Police confirmed this is a picture of Bryant from the state's parole board website. Major David LePayton says a fight between McConville and Bryant over where Bryant was panhandling likely led to the deadly incident. They might have had some sort of argument prior. Initially, LePayton says two men, including McConville, were arrested. The other was later released and not charged, so only McConville is being charged with the murder. His arraignment was just a little more than a minute. Back in the area of the deadly stabbing Tuesday afternoon, a panhandler I spoke with who didn't want to go on camera said Bryant was a nice person who was easy to get along with. Some of Bryant's loved ones were in court for McConville's arraignment. They were very emotional afterwards and also did not want to go on camera. And the public defender who represented McConville to get today also declined to comment. McConville is due back in court July 2nd. Live in Providence, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News. First at six, Providence police say a deadly stabbing began as a fight over a panhandling spot. And it was first breaking last night at 10 on Fox Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live from Providence District Court, where members of the victim's family intended the suspect's arraignment. Eric. Mike and Shannon, loved ones of Antonio Bryant, were very emotional after today's arraignment and did not want to go on camera. The man accused of killing the 51-year-old is now being held without bail. Holding on to the white jumpsuit he was wearing, Gary McConville faced a judge Tuesday afternoon. The 42-year-old Lincoln man is accused of stabbing and killing Antonio Bryant. Major David LePayton says before Bryant was stabbed in the area of North Main and Cypress Streets, he was panhandling. I think that's where he... Uh he stood when he would uh, ask for money. It happened around 8 Monday night. According to Major LePayton, a fight over where Bryant was panhandling likely led to the deadly stabbing. They might have had some sort of argument prior. Providence Police confirmed this is a picture of Bryant from the state's parole board website. Back in the area of the incident Tuesday afternoon, a panhandler who didn't want to go on camera told me Bryant was a nice person who was easy to get along with. At first, Major LePayton said two people who witnesses saw running from the scene were arrested. LePayton says one of them was released and only McConville is charged. And the public defender who represented McConville today declined to comment. McConville is due back in court July 2nd. Live in Providence, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News.